Dolby Atmos and Dolby Surround has been quite finicky on Windows 10, and if you're someone who uses a dedicated surround setup with an AVR for your gaming PC, chances are you might be running into these issues yourself, which could be hindering your overall audio experience. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. When it comes to PC gaming, generally most PC gamers are using a gaming headset or a high quality pair of headphones with a mic to do most of their gaming. When it comes to external audio equipment like speakers, you'll see people have a basic 2.0 or stereo setup, but very rarely will you have users that will have a full on surround setup with an AVR, front channel speakers, a center channel, rear speakers, and a subwoofer, and sometimes even height channels. This is mainly because these kinds of setups can get quite a bit complex, they'll require quite a bit of space, and it can get quite expensive. Plus, if you stay up late gaming, I'm sure your neighbor wouldn't appreciate hearing the sounds of explosions or a bunch of knights screaming at the top of their lungs at 2am. Now I'm someone who uses a 5.1 surround system with my gaming PC that's hooked up to my LG C9 OLED. As much as I love to use my Audio-Technica's or Philips SHP 9500's for gaming on my personal rig, the immersive experience you can get with a 5.1 or 7.1 surround system is just so much better, especially if you have a subwoofer that can add a lot more depth and boominess when it comes to stuff like explosions. It's not even a contest. Since the summer of 2020, I've primarily enjoyed playing my single player titles like this, sitting back on a couch using wireless peripherals and a big screen with immersive audio. But I'd be lying if I said the experience has been flawless, because let me tell you, working with this home theater setup, I've run into some issues which have seriously just driven me up a wall. At first, eARC or Extended Audio Return Channel didn't even work properly on this LG TV until LG had pushed out a firmware update that finally supported more than two channels. Then, one of the biggest problems I ran into with this setup was that eARC was completely broken on this TV, and when it comes to using it with a gaming PC, for some reason it was causing terrible audio problems like cutting out, crackling, distortion, popping noises, etc. I've read countless forum threads from places like AVS forums and Reddit where people have had the same issues and unfortunately no one has a solution to this except for just the workarounds. Eventually I gave up on eARC and am now using a secondary HDMI to display port cable which goes to my Denon's S750H directly and I'm treating it as a dead monitor so I can at least take advantage of the audio setup. Ever since doing that I haven't had any sort of issues when it comes to e uh, the problems I was experiencing with eARC when it came to things like popping, distortion, crackling, etc. Anyways, that's a topic for a separate video. The main problem that I wanted to focus on for this video was the odd configuration issues I ran into with Dolby Atmos for Windows 10. Since the Denon S750H is a receiver which supports Dolby Atmos, and there are many modern games which support it, I wanted to take advantage of it. To use Dolby Atmos, you want to use the Dolby Access app from the Windows Store. Then in Sound Control Panel, when you click Configure and select Dolby Atmos, set it up so that Windows knows what channels you're using, that should be good to go, right? Well, that's what I thought, but I was still running into this problem where it sounded like the audio was compressed, it wasn't loud, and that sometimes my rear speakers, my subwoofer, and my center channels wouldn't even be working, or they would be very quiet. It was a problem that would occur quite often, but sometimes it wouldn't even occur at all, and everything would be nice and loud and working the way it should be, and I would get a nice rich sound experience. I was pretty baffled as to why this was happening, and there really wasn't much information that I, that I could find online. I would attempt to fix this by trying to reconfigure Dolby Atmos again in the sound control panel. I tried updating the app, tried messing around with settings from there. Sometimes it would fix it, sometimes it wouldn't. I thought maybe there was some setting in the uh, AVR that I had to mess around with. I tried turning off eco mode, that didn't help either. I just really wasn't sure why the audio from games wouldn't be loud or... It wasn't like a full sound. My rear speakers barely seemed like it was working. Sometimes my subwoofer wouldn't even be on. It, it, was, it was really bizarre. 
Now giving credit where credit is due, on the Dolby Atmos app page on the Windows Store, if you go down to the review section, a user by the name of Raymond posted that in order to achieve a fuller sound, you'll have to go to the sound control panel, open up playback devices, right click on your audio device, in this case mine would be my Denon AVR, click on properties and under the enhancements tab where it says bass boost, virtualization, channel phantoming, etc. You want to deselect all of them and then check disable all enhancements. After doing this, the full sound to my 5.1 setup was restored and it was working as expected. Now after doing the test sound command, you can actually hear all the speakers playing tones and the subwoofer is now working too. After playing some games, the sound was much better, it was fuller, louder, richer, all the speakers were working the way they were supposed to be, they were emitting effects and sounds like they were supposed to, I could actually hear and feel the bass from the subwoofer, and I'm glad I was able to find out why this was happening, but it just sucks that options that you think are supposed to help or improve the audio ended up having an adverse effect. I was aware of the enhancements tab before and I did leave channel phantoming on because the way it works or the way the description says it's supposed to work is that if you have any sort of speakers in your setup that are missing, uh, say my rear speakers because I'm just using rear side speakers because it's a 5.1 setup, then it's supposed to mix up the sound so that it can kind of create an effect like don't you have those speakers. So I thought, hey, that was kind of cool. I should probably try that. But Little did I know that it would kind of have the adverse effect on the whole audio. There isn't even a warning or disclaimer anywhere on the page that says that you should disable all the effects and just let Dolby Atmos do its thing. Rather, I would have to probably spend countless hours trying to mess around with the other settings on my TV or my AVR, trying to figure out why the sound wasn't working correctly. So I am glad I was able to find that one comment posted on the review section. So for those of you who are using Dolby Atmos on a Windows 10 gaming PC, and you're wondering why your home theater setup sounds quiet or your headphones sound quiet when using Dolby Atmos, then make sure you're using it without any enhancements applied. I wanted to put this video out there because I know how frustrating it can be to spend money on a setup like this and then not be able to take full advantage of it and run into issues. So I'm hoping this video will help some of you guys out. I hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the video description on ways to support the channel and for my other videos. If you guys are interested in more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.